friends and happy Saturday. I wanted to hop on very quickly. This is a Cubanello sweet pepper plant. Look at this is the height of it. Not too too big and it's loaded. Loaded with peppers, so I saw it. I was supposed to get a storm here. That I could free this plant up before this rainstorm. And do a Cubanella uh, pepper harvest. I'm just debating on how I want to cut that stem. Let's see. Got it. Amazing, but look at the size of these. They're just huge. They're touching the ground. So, let's get to harvesting Cubanellas. We're going to take them all off. Make sure you clean up around your plant. I'm trying to cut the plant. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. trying to cut it very carefully. I have to see where this stem is because I don't want to accidentally cut the pepper plants. Look at the size of this pepper on this tiny little plant. Um, I can leave some of the others for them to get bigger. I'm just taking off so the plant can breathe and have a chance to produce some more. Plus it's weighing, you see that? It's weighing the plant down. I think we got it. probably a big one back here. Let's see. Yep, and I don't have any of my pepper plants caged up or um, like not in tomato cage and not in, you know, not any type of support. Some of the chickens probably getting ready to lay an egg. So let's say... What do we have so far? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Now I don't have to worry about um, the winds. the stem off of that one so 11 pepper plants well 11 peppers I'm sorry off of one cubanella just trying to go in here break this off now I don't have to worry about it weighing it down or the winds coming along breaking my pepper plant and I also picked two eggplants I will show you that but here's the tag, Cubanilla, sweet peppers, and got 11 off of that plant. <laughs> oh, and what I am going to do is just free up a couple of the bottom leaves. Okay, so... Definitely wanted to hop on and show you that because it's 11 peppers. It's amazing off of just one Cubanella. Something's going on with this eggplant right here with these leaves. I'll have to see how it looks after this rain we're going to get. Um, but this is the only one that's not looking good. So, of course, I don't have a basket with me. 
because the basket is full of zucchinis. All the zucchinis are harvested, I think, except for one. So I have to make zucchini muffins, all that good stuff. And that's why I don't have the basket. <laughs> Pretty sure this is an Oswald a Rosa Bianca eggplant and a Black Beauty eggplant. Just has this one the sun was beating on. It's not soft. It's not a soft spot. Looks good. There's more growing. So, yeah. Pretty much just wanted to come on. I did remove a few more of these leaves. You could see the bumblebees are in this, but it's a shame something's going on with my cucumber plant. Um, I think I see a cucumber. Let's see. Okay, that can go a little bit more. There's a couple on there. So, I did start some seeds yesterday. Let me fill you in on that real quickly. I did pickle bush and I think another, like maybe like a straight eight, not even a thousand percent sure. Um, started some seeds for that yesterday. In case I have to rip all this out. Plus I have these two babies, so maybe that will help me out greatly. Um... Some beans. What else did I start? Some more zucchini for a second run in case these get hit by the bugs. I did start that yesterday. So, why I'm in here, let me just look around. I don't want any of my pepper plants being weighed down. This is a gorgeous pepper plant. Look at it. Oh, and this, I planted red beets. I thought something was digging at them. The next day I covered it with cardboard. I might take it off. This, I did some giant Ford hook Swiss chard. Look at this. From 4th of July. And there was not even done on this property, so. That's why you gotta be careful. So yeah, I may end up removing this cardboard off for this rain. Wondering, I wish I had the tag for this one. You know what? I think I'm just gonna take one off. Hold on. I don't know. I showed this before. I just want to try this, see if it has any heat to it. And I don't know. This one plant just wants to give one pepper <laughs> each time. So we have peppers going still again. Hopefully the rain will help with a little bit of the yellowing that I am experiencing. It might need good fertilizing. But anyway, so yeah, the giant Ford Swiss hook, whatever it is, I did a row of that. I did a bunch of different beets. So you can see up there it's starting to get pretty dark. So I'm thinking maybe I should take my chances. And take the cardboard off. This is a Cubanella Sweet right here. There's just one on this little plant, but it's a big one. And I want that plant to grow more, so I'm just removed that. And I think the rest will be okay during the storm. At least I think it will. Okay. I'll take my chances because I think he might have a mouse. And that's why. I covered the seeds in the first place. So let's see, shall we? I'm sure they're not going to be up yet. Oh, they're up. There it is. It's starting to come up. You can see it. Yep, absolutely. Time to remove the cardboard. Now let's just hope something doesn't come along and eat it. Just stick this right here for now. Let's check out the rest, shall we? Emily was just gonna click you on. Yeah, absolutely. Seeds are coming up. I was only gonna click you on just to um, harvest peppers quickly. Yep, 
time I need it. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it off. And this is weed. Okay, so that's the cardboard off of that, and I did that just a couple days ago. Um, so I'm really hoping nothing. I'm trying to put it there neatly. Um, whoops, almost up to my pepper. I only just did that like a day or two ago. Let me set these peppers with the other ones. I'm out here with little slipper socks on because I'm sick of the mosquitoes biting my ankles all the time. Okay. Let me sit you right here one second. I'm going to just roll this back up really quickly. It just dawned on me that I wanted to do something else. So let's check under here because I thought I saw a little bit of digging. These are beets. A couple different kinds. that earthworm earthworms love cardboard you know what I'm just gonna take it off I can see I think little ones and this is a weed for sure I hear dogs barking but the reason why I thought this was getting dug in is because it looks like that. So. And that's why I covered it. I did Chitoga Beats. I did Early Top Wonder and some other one. So I'm not sure. It's too soon to take it off. Should take it off. Let the rain get it. Okay, I guess we're just going to take our chances. Let me help Mr. Wormy out here for a minute. I'm just going to dig a hole real quick. Put him in there and cover him up. Okay. Now let me move this cardboard out of the way for now. So hopefully, because it's the last pack of Chitoga beets that I have, and hopefully the critter doesn't get them. I'm not throwing the cardboard out, because I may want to use it again. There's a surprise coming. Okay, good enough. Now... Let me see. Yep, I hear thunder. All right, so let's move a little bit quicker. I heard if you cut some of the stems, I'll sit you in the cabbage for one second. If you cut some of the onion leaves or, you know, these green tops off, um, it will tell the plant to produce bigger bulb. Just figured I would come out and cut some off. Hopefully I'm not making a big mistake by doing that. And I figured I'll get rid of the dead and I will get to have some tops. I know I cut off of that one and look how big that onion is getting. So You could chop them up, freeze them. But I heard it helps the onion plant. Maybe the ones that are not the greatest. I'm gonna take the little pieces. Okay, you hear thunder, right? Hold on. You always know behind thunder is lightning so i want to try to hurry and yes the tripod is being ordered 
think I'm just going to go for like the same one that I had. Okay, look what I just did. Some of the tops that weren't the greatest, I put her on top of the beets so that maybe whatever was digging initially won't continue to dig because um, it'll smell like onions. So I'm just going to take a few and then we have to go gather my haul. But look, cabbages are starting to look almost ready. Some of them anyway. I think the garden should be okay. I usually put it on the fence. I think I'm just gonna sit it right there in my scissors so I don't lose them. Now I'm gonna have to use my shirt as a basket. So look at them all gorgeousness. And I have to hurry. Look, beautiful tomatoes, but none ripe yet. You're right at the tomatoes, actually. Let me take all these peppers and shove them into my shirt. So I can make a mad dash run. And I can't forget the two um, eggplants. I think I'm going to pick... basil leaves for later but yeah I can feel a slight breeze starting to come but it's been really really humid and I don't know if my shirt's gonna make it but that's my video today my friends a quick harvest eggplants and to get all those peppers off but I love you have a great Saturday let me get in storms coming and I will catch you on the next video. Bye friends.